First, I'm going to bring you forth with a story. As a young kid, I got to witness firsthand the problems that both these two types of discrimination play on the world, and here in our country and even in the state of Missouri. I grew up in a small farm town outside of Republic that was mostly white in population and pretty discriminatory. When I got into high school at my hometown, I witnessed one of my best friends get picked on just because he was of another color. I stood up and protected him. I fought for him, and he's been my best friend for life. He's amazing, and he's another another awesome person in my life. And just because you know he's another color doesn't mean that he can't be the best friend you possibly have. He, okay. And then it goes with another friend of mine. He came out to tell us that he was gay, and he is another awesome person in my life. And he got treated the same way. He got picked on. He got bullied. He got called names that you shouldn't say to someone. It's just not right. And I took it to another level and probably shouldn't have, but I, I knocked the kid's lights out. I dropped him because he was, he was being too mean. You know, people should be treated equal, and that's what brings me to my solutions. Some of the solutions to racism have been brought forward, but I shall bring you with some more. First, understand the consequences that come with racism and the effects that it can play on you for these consequences. Look back to past things that people of another color have done for our world, country, and even the state of Missouri. I bet you'll find quite a few of them. Try to forgive and forget anything of the bad nature that a person of another race has done to you because sometimes it's not intentional and they didn't mean to do it. Just because, you know, you had started something and you had, you know, said something mean or something doesn't mean that, you know, they're a really terrible person. Solutions to sexual orientation. Let certain laws be passed from them to an extent because they are human and they give they have a right to live the way that they want to also. Protect these people from violence that occurs to them because they go through both non-sexual and sexual violence that needs to stop. Give them some room for the freedom of expression. They just want to have their voices heard and have the right to be in, like another citizen. You know? um, some solutions to both of these. Inform the people of both pieces of discrimination so they know of the hurtful things that people are doing to them and so we stop the violence. Pass further laws on discrimination because our citizens need to be protected and that means the different people of different color people of different sort of sexual orientation are nothing but the norm, and they also should be treated just like any other people. Educate the youth of the ways that they can help resolve these problems, and so we don't keep so much hate and discrimination in against sexual orientation or race. And that brings us to conclusion. I'll wrap it up with you. So the problem today is that not everyone is aware of while this may be a dream that we have, I feel that it is possible. Using the solutions that Nick discussed, we can do this. To be a better place, we need equality. We should all crave equality. Racism is not over. According to Brainy Quotes, Rosa Parks once pointed out that racism is still with us, but it is up to us to prepare our children for what they have to meet, and hopefully we shall overcome. She saw that racism would still be a problem today, yet she stood strong. She stood her ground, she stood up for what she believed in, and did not let doubt slow her down. Just as Justin did, just as he is still doing today. As Tiara pointed out, Justin is a normal kid attempting to live his life and love who he wants to love. Who are we to deny him? Who are we to deny Justin for who he wants to love? How can we begin the movement to equality? There is a teacher named Jane Elliott that has done just that. Jane was born in the year 1933. After Martin Luther King was assassinated, she was outraged. In her classroom of third graders, Jane began an experiment. She separated her students in two groups, those with blue eyes and those with brown eyes. After one month of favoring the brown eyed students while almost ignoring the blues, she switched their statuses. This showed everyone how discrimination felt from both sides. While that may sound controversial since she was using third grade students, she still continues this experiment today with college students, which is much better media. We're not up here asking you to dedicate your life in educating others. Just take the first step. If you're one with prejudice, take a second look inside yourself. Why do you feel this way? If you have children, teach them to be kind to all around them. If we stand and educate the youth, this violence can end. If we all speak up with our world, this will be a better place. Thank you for listening.